Cookie wanted to mention this other topic as well quickly. This is a clip that I for- I didn't really remember at the time when I was watching a little bit of the flipping Burt Crash on Joe Rogan podcast, which I have to admit, even though Burt Crash can be a bit annoying and he's a little bit too much to deal with, I think this may be one of his better interviews during his press run for his special Razzle Dazzle, which I didn't really like. But the whole press run tour, this might be the best one he's done so far, the one he did with Joe Rogan. I think he came across pretty well. And again, it's probably Rogan's fault or Rogan's, probably because it's Rogan. Most comedians are always on their best behavior when they go there. They want to show, you know, they want to kind of, you know, match Joe's energy. They don't want him to look at him like he's not cool. I don't know, whatever. They want their best behavior. So it was definitely his best performance. Interesting revelation from Burt Kreischer, where he kind of admits in a weird way that the laugh that he does is kind of on purpose. He kind of does it on purpose because he knows he's going to go viral. Very, very strange little admission he puts here. This is a clip. You know, like, uh, be the person, be the hero in the story you want to be. You know, my viral clips are me <laughs> laughing at fucking people falling down. Me well, laughing. I have those too. Me and Theo have a bunch of those. Theo is, Theo's great. Mine are legit just me laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Theo's great. Anyway, back to me. Yeah. Just if, if I can get, if I can laugh, it goes, it goes viral. There's a, mm. there's a video of me and my dad putting a pizza in a pizza oven. Have you seen it? Yes. It's, because it went viral on TikTok. And I'm like, I'm not even in the goddamn video. I'm not even, it's just me and him laughing. And we have, and apparently we have the exact same laugh. We talk, we go, yeah, this the is the Chinese. Day. Isn't it a trip? Usually whenever you see people that are obsessed in media or in content with virality and marketing, they don't look like Burt Kreischer, do they? Right? Like, so no offense, right? It's just it's like, it's like a big, you know, like a fat drunk dude who's obsessed with going viral and marketing, but also who spends so much time on that stuff that you're wondering, what are you actually good at? Like, imagine you go viral, you're on my feed. I see you. I like the little clip and then I will watch your content. What am I what am I actually getting? I have to decide. This is what I was thinking earlier on. Um, so he does this, he goes viral, it works for him. But then once you get into the content, you know, get once you get into the content, I don't know, room or whatever of what he has to offer, right? Whatever the funnel, right? The content funnel pulls you in. You have to decide what you want to check out from him or what you're going to stand by or what you're going to watch. Will it be his stand up? Will it be his podcast? Will it be his cooking show? What's the thing that's going to really kind of make you a fan? Maybe all the above. I'm not really too sure. But if anything, he's funny on the podcast and he's a stand-up. And the stand-up is also for an acquired taste. It's not really for general, I'd say, I don't know. Is that right to say it's not a general humor? I don't know what it is. It's kind of it's kind of really disturbed the way I kind of look at this stuff. It's really kind of messed it up. Because I think in the past, I was very much set on the idea that stand-ups, for the most part, you're either funny or you're not funny. Obviously, you developed your craft over time with experience and going up a lot of times, but I thought a lot of it was kind of instinctive, was almost sort of like natural talent-y type of vibe, right? Having the timing and the wearable to understand, to be able to pluck or be able to extract something funny from something super dark and flip it. Da, da, da. I thought that was something that you just had or didn't have, but then you honed it over time. But having seen these guys within the Jerry Extended Universe and Bufferverse, a lot of these guys are like working comedians, like legit, like working. They sit at a table and they just try and force a joke out of them. And I guess if you do it enough times, if you sit on your table every day for an hour or two and try to write jokes, I'm sure after, you know, doing that every single day for two years, three years, four years, five years, you'd have some pretty decent material. Now, would it mean that you're a funny person? Would it mean that you would make most people laugh? Probably not. But then all you have to do nowadays, as we've seen with most people who don't get cancelled, as long as you have your little community of people that like you, you're basically, you know, you're safe from any sort of transition. And you also got a guaranteed fan base that will follow you everywhere. So even though Burt Crash's laugh might be viral on purpose, right? Even though it might be the purpose, right? Viral. His fans still like it. Like his fans know what they're going to, they kind of know what he's kind of selling and they want more of it. That's why he keeps creating those viral videos of him laughing because he sees the analytics, he sees the money that comes in his pockets, he sees his engagement, he sees his follower account, all that stuff go up. So clearly, as most content creators would do, he would recognize what's doing well and then just double down on it, triple down on it, quadruple down on it until you kind of run that thing dry. And that's exactly what he was doing. But it's, I think, a weird admission he kind of made here on this show. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit of a weird one. He kind of randomly says, hey, by the way, yeah, I know what goes viral, my laughs, so I keep doing it. It's just a bizarre thing to say. But it also got me thinking in general, 
after watching the special, right? Because I watched a little bit of Andres and Tino's cheeseburger, which I find decently quite funny, to be fair. But then I, he nearly lost me in the beginning. He starts off with Andrew Santino's special talking about COVID. And immediately I was like, God almighty, these guys just won't let go of COVID, innit? They just won't let go of COVID. It's like a never-ending cycle. COVID, 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 COVID. But then once you get over that COVID part and you just start talking about hospitals and all that sort of stuff, it starts to get pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. But it still got me thinking, like, a lot of these guys, and again, I'm not too sure what, because I think I mentioned it briefly in the Burt Kreischer video. I'm not too sure what the issue is. Are these guys just not as funny as what Joe would let Joe Rogan would make it seem as, right? The term murderer, this guy crushes, she crushes, blah, 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 beast, all this stuff. Maybe they're not as good as the hype. Or is it a thing of like stand-up comedy just in general can't be enjoyed really to its full potential unless you're there? Because as much as I didn't like Bert Crash's special Razzle Dazzle, maybe my impression of the special would have been drastically different if i watched it in like a cinema with no phone if i was actually there in the crowd maybe that kind of helps the settings that you're kind of watching at maybe because i'm not i, I, I don't know something thinks something there's a part of me that thinks it's too convenient and too easy and too much of a low-hanging fruit to say oh all those guys aren't funny i don't think that's the case because then why are they selling out shows why are they touring all over the world why do fans buy all their merch view what they do like they can't all be unfunny like not you know what i mean i can't i don't believe that all the fans of Bert or all the fans of argentino um are just unfunny people who don't understand humor or who are, don't have it or what did someone say on my comments someone said in my comments Bert crashes fans are the type of people that have no internal monologue i don't think that's true i don't think that's fair i don't i just think for whatever reason comedy probably one of the most subjective art forms out there and it also is quite situational dependent like you have to i think be in a room as it which also makes me think about specials in general who are they making the specials for really are they making them for fans are they making them to get new fans like people like myself who probably don't watch what they do to get them on board is it just a way just to kind of document and have it on record what you did during that time i don't know what it is like who who are these specials actually for like, are you filming it for the people at home? Are you filming it for your fans to watch at home? Are you f doing it in, I don't know, like, I don't know who it's for. And it's really, really interesting and bizarre because I feel like a lot of those guys' specials across the board are very, very mediocre compared to how funny they are on flipping podcasts. Like, that one clip I keep mentioning, that one clip about Chris pre, um, you know, um, pre-rape or diddling allegation, will sasso and flipping brian callum for the fire and the kid remember that really classic one that clip i don't think there's any material or stand up especially from brian callum or crystalia that's better than anything in that clip on that, and that's on the podcast right they're just naturally funny they're riffing off each other even though brian brendan brian said he did how he knows him and they never hung out but they are hanging out right on that video and i don't think i've ever seen anything funnier from crystalia or any of those guys that matches that clip and i don't know if it's because in general it's just a different skill it's different sort of weapon i don't really know what to do with but watching that burt crash flipping video or special really kind of freaked me out as i was thinking god man all these guys are really rubbish aren't they